so in this video tutorial we're going to show you how you can turn your hosted themes into a fully user driven um, service okay so think of like YouTube and Vimeo where people upload their content um, and then it's displayed on the website you can then turn your hosted themes into this so this is great for news um, vlogging anything that you want to create kind of a social media type website okay so if you down um, so if you set up one of the demo themes we've just created a basic setup here then this is how the theme set up now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up so that when someone uploads okay then it will instantly create a um, a video post and it will also encode to HLS through AWS and do lots of powerful things in the background and then display the video so lots will go on in the background but you'll just see the video displayed okay so first of all um, go ahead and if you haven't already search for cloud formation user driven template okay and then you'll see our user driven template download that template because we're going to be using it with cloud formation okay so head over to cloud formation and what we're going to do we're going to create a stack with resources okay now I'm just going to upload the stack that we just downloaded our template our JSON file okay so as you can see I've uploaded the JSON file now if you go to next it's going to ask us for a few things so let's go ahead and put in a website user driven just enter anything for your stack name now here's where you need to add an auth token so this is important and I'll show you where you can get this now so head back over to your theme and then under customize theme and video options okay you will see under video when it opens up you have an API key here so you can generate a key um, and then save to create a new key I'm just gonna grab this key here because it's already been generated but um, generate a new key for your setup now back to the cloud formation stack you want to put in your key okay and now here's where you want to add your output bucket and your watch bucket okay so this is just you just need to simply add names okay to these so we can just put my comp okay and make sure you use unique names because it will fail if there is already a bucket with this name so don't just use the names that are here so let's go ahead so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the URL from the website okay and go back to cloud formation and then um, paste it back in here and then we'll just take off the end so you've got your HTTP and your IP so it's just a demo website so this is what's set up but obviously if you pointed your domain and ideally this wants to be HTTPS but we're just testing to show you okay so let's go to next and we can leave everything as is and we can go to acknowledge because we're going to be creating some resources okay now all we need to do now pretty much is wait for this to process okay so while this is going through let's go ahead and set up our upload bucket okay so what we'll do is we'll close this <coughs> and we'll go to our upload page okay so this is the page we're using to upload our content and we're going to edit with Elementor okay so just give it a second and then if you click on the up upload a widget you'll see that this is where you add your access key and secret key and the bucket name okay so we haven't set that up yet so let's go ahead and do that so we'll go back to I am um, what we'll do is we'll um, copy this policy here so you'll see this policy next to um, next to the upload information so you can simply copy that and then let's create a policy with that JSON similar to how we do in most of the other tutorials okay so you paste in your JSON okay and here's where we need to enter the bucket name that we added to our template okay so let's go back to cloud formation now I can't remember what I changed the bucket name to um, so I'm just going to wait for this cloud formation uh, template to complete and then I'll know what the bucket name is so I'll pause the template now okay great so our stack is completed so now I'll be able to figure out what we call the bucket name because I completely forgot okay so you can go to outputs okay and we called our watch bucket um, this name here so this is the name we're going to be using in our IAM permission okay so you enter the bucket name here so this just restricts everything down to that one bucket so we're just let this policy only allows people to upload to this one bucket so next add tags the policy can change some errors so I've pasted it in wrong remove the white space at the top okay um, we're not gonna add some tags review policy we'll call this um, bucket uh, uploader policy bucket uploader policy obviously you can call yours whatever you want and um, we'll create the policy okay and now let's go ahead and create a user 
so we need some keys to connect so again as in all the tutorials we'll add our permissions we'll attach the existing policy the bucket uploader policy next tag tags review and create user okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my access key and head back over to our website we'll paste the access key in here okay and then I'm going to do the same thing for the secret key okay so I'll just pause the video I do this okay so I've pasted in the access key and I've pasted in the secret key now let's go ahead and just make sure we're using the correct bucket name so this all needs to be correct okay else it's not going to work so make sure you've got the correct bucket name so all we're doing really here is we're referencing the bucket okay so this is for the uploaders so when people when someone uploads through the form okay it's going to go into this watch bucket then the um, CloudFormation stack template is going to send it off to a Lambda function which is then going to code everything to HLS and output it to our delivery bucket okay so there's a lot going on here um, obviously you can change if you want uh, logged out users to be able to upload or if you want logged in users to be able to upload if you don't want them to be published straight away you can set them to draft so you can go ahead and review them first and you can set a uh, file size and allow, allow file types okay so we'll click update here okay so we should be good to go here so let's just want to refresh on this page okay and then what I'm going to do is I'll fill out these details here so let's just put um, test in uh, I will just put my news uh, video uh, I witnessed this today and then obviously documentary podcast you can set up your um, categories um, for them to add to I'll just put this in podcast I'm going to select an image okay and for tags tags are actually quite important you can force these to be required because whatever they add if they add news and um, say just dogs for example then it will start to generate all the the content based on dogs and pull it in um, on an algorithm to give you like a more liked videos okay so more like this kind of thing agree to terms now I'm just gonna grab a video okay and I'll click submit okay so you can see our videos uploading now as soon as it's uploaded to that folder it's gonna go off and hit our lambda function and then what it's then going to do is then encode it to HLS. So let's go ahead and click yes. So you can see our videos here. Now this is being encoded to HLS. Okay, so you're going to give it a few seconds for it to actually encode your video. This is a small video, so I say a few seconds. If it's a larger video, then obviously it will take a bit longer. And we can edit this um, message here to say your video will be available soon. You know, similar to how YouTube does when it's encoding your video. Okay. We'll just pause the video while this encodes and finalizes. Okay, so that didn't take long, and our video is now streaming, streaming via all our adaptive bit rates. Okay, so it'll be a great workflow for all different devices. Okay, and um, yep, that's working. So let's just show you how we can do that for another video. So we just put in news to um, this is new. Uh, we'll put it in the podcast uh, category as well. I'm just going to grab okay and for tags I'll put in uh, news and dogs again okay just to show you how it generates agree to terms and let's upload a different video this time okay and we'll click upload so you can imagine how powerful this will be for um, for you if you've got if you can get users to actually drive the content of your website and um, there's lots of massive websites out there making tons of money because then you can also add advertising to this as well um, through an advertising model um, and there's lots of things you can do within this template okay so let's just go ahead and view this video okay and now you can see that we've got our more like this so it's going to start to generate all more like this so exactly how YouTube and Vimeo super powerful again let's just give it a second for this to actually um, encode the media I'll run a quick refresh now to see if it's done it no okay let me just pause the video while that goes through okay great so as you can see this has gone through and it's now um, loaded up a video and it's all encoded so imagine if you wanted to get an article out quickly um, then you can do it this way you can create all sorts of uh, user workflows these can all be commented on by your users um, shared liked added to watch lists um, lots of more um, it's completely flexible this template um, it's all done with the Elementor page builder so the uploader doesn't have to be here it can be anywhere in your website you can put it in the footer the header um, inside your content of a page anywhere you want okay you literally just 
drag this widget wherever you want it basically you can just go ahead and search for OTT widgets and then um, pretty much do whatever you want okay so it's under OTT and then you type in upload a form okay so you can drag this anywhere in your theme okay so super powerful um, play around with it remember that if you then changed your domain name or added your domain name or added HTTPS this wouldn't work okay so it makes sense to get everything set up first point your domain name to your IP um, ask us to set up SSL for you and um, for free and then once that's done then you can just simply do the template and you're good to go from there okay um, so yeah hope this helps